الحمد لله وصلاة وسلام على نبي من محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبة الله we know that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alaihi wasallam mentioned about the importance of your health and your time, your free time. And we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala places great emphasis on how we use our time and, and time in general. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swears by the time. For example, in Surah Al-Asr, Allah wa ta'ala says, Fikitabi al kareem after Audhu Billah Min Shaitan Rahim, Bismillah Rahman Rahim says, Wal Asr, Inna Lansana Lafi Khusr. He says, by the time. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Al Asr, He swears by the time. That right there, Habit Fillah, as the Mufassireen mentioned, the people of Tafsir, that it shows us the importance of time. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave it great, immense port- importance. Time. Time is how we measure everything. How do we know when the next prayer comes in? It's through time. We use time as a, a, a form of measurement. How do you know when you, to get up in the morning and to wake and, 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 and to prepare yourself for school and work? It's by measuring time. How do you uh, base all of your activities in your life? It's through time. So we know that we have to spend our time wisely. And in the hadith we were mentioning, the Prophet Wasallam also mentioned that we should uh, 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 we not only spend our time wisely, but we spend our, why we have health. Why we have health, we use it wisely. How can you use your health wisely? By worshiping Allah Azza wa Jal. Ala thiq and basira. And based on knowledge, and based on insight and wisdom, and, and giving Him His haq. Using your good health and your time to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just to show you, and I, I, I believe f- wholeheartedly in using natural base cures, hijama and the, the prophetic medicine. And as you know, and, and are very well aware, I'm sure, that I love the outdoors. This is why I love the place. This is where I was born, not in these woods, but here in Washington State. Why do I love Washington? I think what you see around me should be enough to answer that question and more. So what I just did, a habitifillah, is I just wudu. I broke my wudu, akramakamallah. So I decided, hey, even though it's hours before dhuhr, let me make my intention. And I made wudu with the fresh, beautiful river water right here. And I enjoyed every minute and I feel so fresh. This cold water that is melted from the snow that has descent come, come from the mountains, but Aslan from the sky is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayyuhan nas, Ya ayyuhan nas a'budu rabbukum, alladhi khalaqakum wa alladhi nima qablakum la'alakum tatakum, alladhi ja'ala lakum al-ard firashan, wa samaa bina'an wa anzala min as-samaa. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that He descends from the, from the, from the heavens or from the skies, he Tabarakatala descends this. Wa anzala mina sama ima'in. He descends. He 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 uh He gives these provisions. This water comes from the sky. Comes from the clouds. Subhanallah. Wa anzala mina sama ima'in. Wa fa akhra jabihi min thamarati ruskin lakum. And from this he gives you Fruits, which are a provision for you. The fruits are a provision for you. All of this is a part of the provisions from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's a riz, it's a provision for you. And then he says, Do not. Associate partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you know because we know that this comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We know this is a ni'mah the mighty ni'am of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the mighty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala This is such a beautiful beautiful blessing and I'm gonna take and soak in every minute and enjoy my time here seeking my Meditation seeking my peace in the heart 
seeking to make dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, being alone, away from, from, from others. And hopefully, when I'm doing this, hopefully the jinn that gather around, hopefully they're gathering around and listening, and that they're the Muslim jinns, and that they will spread the da'wah amongst the jinns. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with all the khair and protect us from all the sharr and strengthen our hearts and bless us with those things which please Him and protect us from those things which displease Him. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.